hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's Eki if you're first time seeing me you're welcome today's video is a holiday makeup tutorial Yay! so if you're stopping by for the first time you're welcome if you are a subscriber thank you so much for coming back so stay tuned while we go right into this video so I'll be setting my brows with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder this is to keep my brows in place and also hold down the oil so guys the next thing I like to do is to use my blood gel liner in granite to fill in my brows if you are a learner or if you are a beginner I always advise you start off with a brow pencil because you will have more control over the brow pencil than a brow pomade so I just use my brush and brush my brows e where to fill my brows in and then I outline both the top the bottom and the top so guys if you want to if you want to see a detailed brow tutorial I have that on my channel I'll be linking the the link down in my description box so if you want to see that you please 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 check that out into the uh, top part of my brows I'm bending that line down to the one I drew down and then just connect it I'm filling in my brows with the same brow pomade I'm just giving it a short strokes with a very light hand because I don't want the brows to be thick I just want it very very light I'll be highlighting my brows with my favorite angle brush from Yanga Beauty and I'll be using this concealer from Ferrarusi in highlighting the bottom part my brows I'm using this shade here if also you're a beginner I will suggest you use a liquid concealer because liquid concealer is easy to work with you need a little more idea to work with a creamy concealer so I use a shade of concealer that is my skin tone to clean the top part of my brows because I don't want that hello line so I blend this into my skin so to make that brows look more pronounced and beautiful okay guys so we are done with the brows the next thing I'm going to the eyes so I'll be priming my lid with the Banai Clown White eyeshadow primer so I'm just spreading that on my lid this is to give my eyeshadow what to stick on make it pop so if you're using the Benign Clown White eyeshadow base, a little goes a long way. So with the same brush I use in blending my eyeshadow base, I'll be going in with this eyeshadow. With this shade, this orange shade here from Debbie Luster Nude Palette. I'll be taking that to my crease as my transition color. So I'm just stapling this right at my crease just to get the desired pigments that I need and then I'll be blending into the inner corner of my eyes always go in with little amount of eyeshadow because you don't want to put too much of that eyeshadow if not you will find it difficult to blend out so I just blend, blend, blend. I'll be taking this warm brown here. 
and apply that right underneath the first transition shade that I applied and then just blend that towards the inner corner of my eyes to blend the transition shade together I'll be using this shade here and then I blend the transition color I applied I blend them together because I do not want a demarcation okay so because I want to give my lid color what to stick on so it can stand out and it get more vibrant I'm applying that eyeshadow base one more time for my lid color I'll be using this no band beauty eyeshadow palette going in with this gold shade as my lid color it is called cosmic so you just be careful with that because it has fallouts I feel it's because I'm using a brush to apply this if I use my finger I usually do not have this much fallout I'll be going into this shade here this dark brown shade and I tap a little on this then I apply that right at the outer corner of my lid this is to further define my outer corner and also give it a dimension I'll be lining using the carrot gel liner in black ink so I'll just take from this and put it right at the back of my palm I do this so that I'll be able to have control over the product just take this line here to meet with the one I've drawn And I can still lengthen the line of my wing depending on how dramatic I want my wing to look like. I just fill in the space in between the line that I drew. So I'll be popping on some lash from Mismetic Lash Tray in Valve. So I'll be using this particular one here. I'll be using this one here. As I'm moving to the skin, so I'll be cleansing with the micellar cleansing water to take off the excess products that fall on my skin and then just clean that off so that I'll have a clean base to put my products. Next thing I'll be doing is to spray my face with rose water. This is rose water actually. I just poured it inside of this container because it doesn't have a spray stopper. I always use my hands to cover my eye because I've already done my eyes and I don't want that to smudge. So I'll be leaving that rose water to dry down before I go in with any other products. I'll be going in with is my Aveno Moisturizing Lotion. I'll be moisturizing my skin before I go in with my primers. Whatever skin type you are, oily combination or dry skin, you always have to moisturize your skin. Next, I'll be priming my skin with the Rimmel Stay Matte. This primer is beginner friendly. It moisturizes, it blows out pores, and also control shine and hydrate the skin as well. So it's very, very beginner friendly. If you want something to try, you can try this. One of my favorite drugstore primer. Okay guys, so I'll be mixing both foundation for my skin. This is Maybelline Superstay. It's a full coverage foundation. This is in 330 Toffee Caramel. It's a bit lighter than me. And then this, this is Milani Conceal Plus Perfect. It's a two-in-one foundation in number 11 amber. Taking like one drop of this 
and then the stopper for this foundation bottle is not working well so i just take that and i mix both of them for my skin so guys i'm not done yet with my eyes if you can see or if you notice i want to finish up with my skin and then come back to the eyes so i like to go over with a damp beauty sponge this just sink in all my products and make the foundation sit well and take off excess products on my face I'll be highlighting my under eyes, the bridge of my nose with the Milani concealer in 160 warm. From the Ferrarussi eyeshadow palette, <laughs> from the Ferrarussi concealer palette, I'll be using this light one here mixing with this i'll be applying that right here because i want this area to look brighter okay guys i'm done with my face so i'm going to my eyes right now i'll be lining my eyes with the colossal kajal eyeliner from Maybelline. just line my waterline just like so so I'll be going back into the eyeshadow to smudge my lower lash line with the same eyeshadow I used earlier for my transition colors. The second shade I went in with was this brown. Okay guys, from the V Beauty palette, I'll be dusting off the excess powder from my face. I'm using the shade uh, Chocolate to dust off the excess setting powder from my face okay guys so because is a holiday look so i'm going to be using this lippies for my lip so i'm i'll be using this red from the luster and nyx the orange shade from nyx and this purple is from Gla classic cosmetics and this I'll be using the white shade here from iMagic Lip Palette for my lip combo. Adding some glow to my face with the Noban Beauty Glow Palette. I'll be using this and this for my cheekbone. Final seal, I'll be spraying with the Taya Setting Mists just to get everything together. So guys that is it for our holiday makeup tutorials thank you so much for watching if you got any value out of this video please do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up leave a comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe right here and ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new videos stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys